In this series on the Mark of Cain, welcome to the land uh, east of Eden. The puzzle of this protective mark placed on Cain was revealed to be that it was an offspring of God and that Benjamin was God's to judge him. Along with this mark was a warning that if anyone judged Cain, matter seven times worse would happen. Well, we wanted to look into this matter deeper in light of what Jude had predicted that in the end times, that last generation would go in the way of Cain. We are that generation, believe it or not. Thinking this to Jesus' warning against judging, warning us to not judge at all, saying that what we measure out would get measured back on us, revealing that we all do the same things that we judge others for doing. This will be coming out later in this video. For now we observe in the Genesis record how at the end of that time period, before the biblical flood, it ended up with only eight individuals escaping the judgment of God. Noah, his wife, his three sons and their wives. Seeing this as seven times worse happening to do is the end times. We in these end times will experience the same with what has been predicted by Jews. Few will escape this coming seven years of tribulation, a period that comes out in the book of Revelation. This will be that seven times worse matter, having to do thinking to judge and not heed the warning. It is a matter of judging before the time comes into play and lay my point of this video. You don't want to get caught up in the cares and fears of this end time generation. Another thing we were warned about, getting caught up into it all, we run the risk of having that day come upon us, unaware. We would be too busy judging and not embracing the fact of God's grace and mercy that saved us all from his wrath and the promise to rescue us. We would need a wake-up call to avoid this coming matter of seven times worse for judging those who are marked going the way of Cain of our end time. Isn't it strange how this tribulation period is said to be seven years, seven times worse? I get into a lot of this in my series on the slaying of the offspring of God. Humanity, unaware, unaware that all are the offspring of God, beyond any distorted cult idea of our being the offspring of God, slaying one another. It was Paul, that apostle, that saw this and revealed it to the Gentiles of his day, bringing, him at, bringing this out in Acts chapter 17. The Gentiles knew this, yet didn't understand it. Many times because of the religious Jewish judgments, calling the Gentiles Gentile dogs. Paul lets them know that all are one blood, one life, the life of God through which we live and move in and sustain us all. Jew and Gentile, thus Paul agreed that all are potentially, hear that, potentially the offspring of God, not all of them accepted, just unaware of this mystery. A hidden, a mystery hidden, since the beginning of created time. The fall of Adam cut us him and us all off from the spiritual truth. My series on mercy brings this out. I would recommend doing all that my father and yours has been sharing to this vessel on this matter of the mystery of godliness. If you can't hear this through me as a vessel, you're without excuse because anything that I'm sharing is also found in this mind of Christ, in your spirit, this is the mystery, revealing how you don't need anyone to teach you about these mysteries. You have the same mind in your spirit given to you to ask your Father. So in closing, heed the warning or we'll expect to experience something seven times worse than your worst nightmare. You need not be just stop judging before the time.
Naruwoi, Kevin Sorosov, God bless.